In this lesson, you will calculate the total balance of every account in the account database table and group the results by currency. To do this, you'll use the group by method, an anonymous type, and the sum method. You learned about anonymous types in the previous lesson. That's lesson 10 2. Note that the advanced link syntax that is used in this lesson can be very confusing to work with. Most programmers would avoid using link to create advanced database queries because it makes their code harder to understand. In circumstances where complex queries are needed, it is usually better for a stored procedure to be created in the SQL language. Most ASP.NET programmers do not have advanced SQL skills. Stored procedures are usually created by a specialized team member called a DBA, or Database Administrator. To begin this lesson, open the Market Trader project from your Sample Files folder. and open the code behind file of accountbalance.aspx. Now add the following code to the page load event handler. Using market trader data context data equals new market trader data context var result equals data dot accounts grid view account balances dot data source equals result grid view account balances dot data bind this query will return every record in the accounts table if you view account balance dot aspx in your web browser you can see individual records for each account. Next, you're going to use the group by link method to group the accounts by currency. Add the following code to the end of the link query. Dot group by begin brackets account lambda account dot currency dot currency name end brackets this code tells link that you want to group the results by currency name but it does not return any values you will need to use an anonymous type in order to return any results add the following code to the end of the link query dot select group lambda new begin curly brackets group dot key end curly brackets this code is a little different to the code that you created in lesson 10 2. the value that you specified in the group by method is considered to be the key value that the groups are organized into. For this reason, link places the group names in the group.key property. If you view accountbalance.aspx in your web browser now, you can see the names of each currency. You will need to add a little more code in order to get the total account balances for each currency. Add the following code immediately after group.key. Comma total balance equals group dot sum account lambda account dot account balance.
The SUM method adds together the account balance values for each group heading. The group headings are the currency names. When using aggregate functions such as SUM within an anonymous type, you must give a name to the resulting value. You have named the result of the SUM method by using the code total balance equals group dot sum. When you access data using a link, the link data context class automatically creates a database query in the SQL language. Here is the SQL code that link generates for the query that you've defined in this lesson. Select currency dot currency name, sum account dot account balance as total balance, from account, inner join currency on account dot currency ID equals currency dot currency ID, group by currency dot currency name. If you already understand SQL, you will agree that this SQL query is elegant, less error prone, and easier to understand compared to Link's somewhat clumsy syntax for complex queries. For these reasons, it's a better choice to use stored procedures for complex queries. Test your code now by viewing accountbalance.aspx in your web browser. Your database query is executed and the total account balances are displayed for each currency. Notice that the summed column is named total balance, as specified in your code. Close your web browser now, and close Visual Studio. You've now completed Lesson 10.3. Use the sum and group by link methods.